since I got you You stole my heart away with the things that you do And lately, you drive me crazy, baby Maybe that's why I escape in your love There's no place What's going on guys and welcome back to This Is LNS. If you're new here, if it's your first time tuning in, make sure you hit the subscribe button first off. But if you don't know already, my name is Landon. Hey guys, there is a multiple. Let me turn on the TV. Hold on one second. Hold on. Now we're good. So like I said guys, we have a lot going on today. First off, first things first, let's start the day off with a quote. Okay, the quote of the day is to stay in your own lane, mind your business, okay? Stay in your own lane, mind your business. Because if you stay in your own lane, you only worry about what you're doing, not what everyone else is doing or what everyone else has, then that will just lead to more of your success in your own game, okay? So like I said, stay in your own lane, mind your business, okay? Moving on to today, the whole point of today is we have some big news, okay? We actually have two big newses inside of one big news, if that makes sense. So stay tuned for that. You guys will definitely want to see what it's all about. But first things first, I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. You don't even want to... <sighs> yeah, you don't, you don't even want to know. So falls into the bathroom real quick, come on. So when we get ready to go, it's pretty easy. We literally use one face wash and we use our little travel Vanity Planet sets. We used to use the Spin for Perfect Skin, which is like the older version of this. Skin. Next, I use my spin brush, but I like to use the like exfoliating, but we just upgraded to these and it makes it like super easy because look, let's go. It literally makes it so easy for traveling and all that. He has his own little setup. When I get ready, normally I use the like, just the regular one, but once a week I'll use like the exfoliating one to like deep down exfoliate. You don't even have to use like an exfoliating gel when you use the brush because it does all that for you and he mainly uses the silicone one it's just like a gentler version of the exfoliating one i want to say that's my favorite part though it seems more fancy to me because there's three different heads to use so i see it like i like i like that that's my favorite part about it <laughs> so i've been using this one for like six months so far and i like it way better it's 100 percent cruelty free, which is a big deal for me. So also, I just like to put a little bit on there. And then once I wash my face, I use the softer one and I put like my serum on there and then I just like, and it beyond rubbing with your fingers, like gets it. So since we have been traveling a lot though, that's what makes it so convenient because it is easy to carry and easy to fit in your bags. And it also comes in three different colors. So if you don't like the pink, the blue is also another one. Look, look at this, look at this skin. Look at this skin, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, I didn't know about that at all. Hold on. You gotta give it a, I gotta give it a nice pat. Okay. Ah, and look at this skin by Vanity Planet. <laughs> ah, now that I'm all refreshed and ready to start my day, you know what time it is. We haven't done a cooking with Charlotte in forever. So this is the first one in our new house. And you know what we're making? Can you guess? So the first cooking with Shyla we officially did was chicken and waffles. So in honor of that, I decided to do mini chicken and waffle sliders. Not just any though. These are mini buttermilk. A little bit of spice to it. Might change your life. Let's get started. So I have a couple of chicken breasts that I'm gonna cut up into bite-sized pieces. So we're gonna start off with just some regular salt and pepper. I like to use fresh ground because I feel like it gives it a better flavor. Next, we're going to use just a pinch of some cayenne pepper. Next, we're going to use one teaspoon of garlic powder. Then we're going to use one tablespoon of hot sauce. You can pretty much use any hot sauce you like. Then we're going to move on to half a teaspoon of paprika. Lastly, we're going to let this marinate in some buttermilk. I'm going to use about two cups and this is going to make our chicken really creamy. And next we're going to just mix it all together with some tongs and we're going to let it marinate in our fridge for about two hours. Now that our chicken is marinated, we're gonna get started on the batter. So I have some all-purpose flour. I'm just gonna, 
oops, pour that in the bowl and I'm gonna season that again. You can season it to taste. There's not an exact amount, but I'm gonna use pretty much all the same seasonings I used in our batter in here. Now we're gonna um, prepare to fry our little chicken bites. So I'm just using some regular vegetable oil. I'm gonna let that heat up and then I'm gonna dip my little chicken bites in their batter and I'm gonna get them ready to drop in here. So let's go do that. I'm just coating it in flour. Then I'm gonna drop it back in the egg and to make it extra crunchy back in the flour. So I'm gonna finish up with the rest of these and then um, we're gonna drop in the oil. All right, so I'm just gonna drop them in here. Ooh. It's popping. Literally, get it? <laughs> These are gonna be so good. Double flavor, double season. Don't be scared to season because guess what? I'd rather have over season than under season, okay? Next, it's time for some biscuits. Why do they make it like the peel ones and they never pop like, and you always have to like, and then they will. Anyways, you're gonna get a biscuit and you're gonna cut it into fours. Might have just been the easiest part of the whole, whole damn breakfast. Then, make them in little bowls. Then you're just gonna get these and you're literally just gonna plop them in your waffle maker. Now guys, a waffle maker is an investment. Get one. I have this old waffle maker I've had literally forever. Like, they probably don't make this anymore, but. It works perfectly fine and I use it very often, so. I'm gonna let those cook and then I'm gonna go check on my chicken and that should be almost done. It's very quick, like less than 10 minutes. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Since we're just waiting for our biscuits to finish up so we can put this together, the hardest part was the chicken, guys. So now we're just waiting on the easy biscuits to be done and then we're pretty much done. Some of you guys, had some questions. So I'm gonna answer a couple quick questions. A lot of you guys wanted to know how I got like, into cooking. And I would probably say like, I spent a lot of time with my grandmother when I was younger and she definitely was like a big influence on me and like taught me how to cook at a young age. And I think also I like to eat like good food and I feel like you can't really get good food through like fast food or like restaurants. Like, so I just rather like make it myself. That makes sense. So I like cooking because I like the end result. And I feel like I was just always born to like cook. I'm very nurturing by nature. Like I know I was born to like have kids and like take care of kids because I just like cook for everyone and like it's just what I do. It's just who I am. So okay. Well these are done. They're a little, little brown. Okay. But they smell so good. They're literally just biscuits, baby. I'm gonna put another batch in and then we're gonna finish it and just tie it all together, okay? See you in a second. And that's it guys. I wish I had little toothpicks just to like stick them together, but if not, it's fine. They're still gonna be really, really good. But if you guys decide to try this, definitely take a picture, send it to me so I could see how it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Shyla. And back to the vlog. First off, that was fire. Thanks. That was better than Roscoe's. It was fire. <laughs> Honestly. It was the, the waffle was so soft. It was a biscuit. It was a biscuit? A biscuit waffle. So you finessed me? Anyways, so LS gang. It's time. We've been hiding a little secret from you guys. No, we're not pregnant. Don't go there. <laughs> but we do have a new person living with us. We have two new members living with us. Yeah, but let's so, talk so, about our first person. So remember guys, I told you that we had basically two surprises in one. Okay, so we're gonna talk about that right now. Do you wanna go or, do, or should I go? Okay guys, so a lot of you, let's just take it back to our house tour. A lot of you were wondering why on the empty house tour we showed a certain room and on the furnished house tour we didn't show that room. It's because there's a person in there. And um, not just any person. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about this person. They're very kind, very caring, very helpful, and just overall, a great energy to have around. I'm gonna just get her, okay? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna let her, you know, do her own little thing. So, hold on. That's enough. That's it. One, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> so guys, this is Michaela. Michaela. 
Kayla is someone that we decided to hire to help us out with everything that we do around here. This house, unlike the one before, we decided to make this one really about like a team setting. I think that's the best thing for us in a work aspect and just in a good vibe aspect as well. And it's a good way to grow because everyone has a purpose, everyone helps everyone, and we just get it done in a team manner. So we're happy with Michaela and she's good and we do not plan to fire her. We love her and <laughs> we love you guys. This is the gang. So, so do you have anything you'd like to say? Um, just that I'm super excited to join the LS gang, you know, <laughs> and I'm ready to just work and grow with them and they're honestly the best voices ever in the <laughs> gang, so yeah, I'm really but, excited. Uh, but we didn't meet her though, like a month ago, so you want to say I'll talk about that? Okay, later. yeah, so I actually have known Michaela for some years. We went to school together briefly, but we didn't know each other, but like we knew of each other. And then like we reconnected later on in life, like randomly, and then we hung out a couple of times, and then it just randomly came all together like perfectly. Like the situation was 100% meant to be, and it just formed perfectly. We were moving and we found this house, and then two weeks later, I told her like, hey, come live with me. <laughs> and she was like, all right, I'll be there on the first. And um, it just worked out. And honestly, like, definitely had a lot to do with like God and like timing. And so we didn't even know that we really needed the help until like we got the help. Yeah, until until we got the house. Yeah. Um, and yeah, this was like a, a Craigslist ad. We didn't put up like an employee help like ad um, on Google or anything like that. So. But if we needed to, we would have went straight to you guys. <laughs> definitely. So that's half surprise. All right, so now you can get out of here. All right, peace, so, guys. <laughs> So we're happy with her. I love her and I love that um, that I had a friendship with her before. So it, it doesn't make it like awkward or it's not like a new situation. And um, I know she's like a good person. I can trust her. Joe gets along with her. Joe loves her. Sure, Joe loves her. And um, we're just a big, happy, mixed, integrated family. And that's all we've ever wanted. So that's half of the surprise, okay? So the other half of the surprise. <laughs> the only thing I'm going to say is that you might cry. I don't think they'll cry. But <laughs> just me. We are welcoming a new member or an old member, I should say. Back a into a reinvented member. Back a reinvented, renewed member back into our lives. Back We're into our, our family. Back into our home. I'm gonna I'm gonna just bring them in here too. I'm gonna do the same no! thing. No! No, he need a, a proper Michaela got a you know what I'm saying? This person needs a Fine. Can we roll some cinematics or something? So guys, this is Fiji, okay? This is Fiji McBroom right here. Fiji the Frenchie! And he is only about nine months old, which is crazy to believe. He's not even one yet. Um, if you guys don't know, if you guys didn't see, I surprised Charlotte with BG about six, I don't know, about how long ago was that? A long time ago. About, that, about Valentine's Day. I think it was a couple days before Valentine's Day. Right. I've been once in a pot, eh? Baby girl, you're my plug, eh? When I get away for you to- We got him, we loved him, we are super excited. Um, it wasn't the best, uh... Long story short, if you guys don't know, we had to- Go get Fiji trained. It was really bad between him and Stax. They just fighted nonstop. Fiji was really aggressive with me in particular. And um, he was rough with like kids. And it was just really hard because obviously if you have a dog, they're part of your family and you love your dog. So it was just a really hard decision that we had to make. And we chose to get him trained rather than just give up on him. And honestly, getting him trained changed our lives. And it was just really like hard to be without him for a couple of months. Especially like for like, oh, you just gave your dog away. You just got rid of your dog and like it's just better to not say anything We're not like that. We love our dog and it just really like sucked, but um, he's back and things are just so much better now We're happy we got him back and he's just so much well, uh, so much more well behaved But let's show off to you guys some of the things he's learned. Okay, sit Lay down, lay down Good boy. Speak Good boy. Good boy. Lay down, lay down Good boy, good boy. But that is it for today, guys. We just really wanted to show you our two new members of our new house, of our new home and our family. Our new family. It feels so, good to have everything together and everyone like getting on. It feels like everything's getting back to like how it's supposed to be. It just feels good. Feels right. As always, guys, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the game. We'll see you soon. Peace.